We'll take the lot, because today we're venturing over to Diagon Alley's famed hopping pot quick service refreshment venue. Oh, W-L's. Quill's at the ready, because it's time for a little trivia. In the Harry Potter books, what is the name for the magical society that regulated alcohol in the wizarding world? Was it A, the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Wand Bureau, B, the Wizarding Department of Sobriety, C, the Magical Bureau of Inebriation Affairs, or D, the Department of Intoxicating Substances? This unique libation station in Universal Studios Orlando is the perfect break for witches and wizards of all ages looking for a refreshment and a light snack. It's situated in the corner of Diagon Alley and adjacent to the staircase stage, home to Celestina Warbeck and the pantomimers of the Tale of the Three Brothers. This is the best spot to pick up one of the unique wizarding beverages, both non-alcoholic for the young wizards and witches and alcoholic beverages for those already working for the Ministry of Magic. And if you're feeling peckish, you can grab a light snack. They serve beef pasties, crisps, and butterbeer ice cream. For those looking for a non-alcoholic Harry Potter classic, you can get three different types of butterbeer here, including traditional butterbeer, frozen butterbeer, or hot butterbeer. If you're looking for something a little more playful, perhaps try the fishy green ale, the peach tree fizzing tea, the pumpkin juice, or our personal favorite, the seriously sour tongue-tying lemon squash, or the otter's fizzy orange juice, which is the autumnal cousin of orange juice. And for those looking to bring the magic home, make sure to check out our recipe for this splendid orange refreshment. For the adult wizards in your pack looking for that extra kick, check out the fire whiskey or sample one of the beers on tap. They have just a little bit of everything, from a custom wizard's brew and dragon scale to strongbow and Newcastle brown ale. This hidden gem is one of our favorite food and drinks locations in the parks. While the line often looks long, it moves pretty quickly. Now time for the trivia answer. If you guessed D, the Department of Intoxicating Substances, head straight to the Ravenclaw table because you're right. And did you know that in the first Harry Potter book, Hagrid quit drinking after a tipsy conversation with Quirrell that led him to reveal how to get past Fluffy, the three-headed dog? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. The variety of beverages here in Diagon Alley far surpassed those in Hogsmeade. And for that reason, we prefer dining in Diagon Alley. Fun fact, you can get all the other drinks from the Hopping Pot, with the exception of the Gillywater Elixirs, at the Leaky Cauldron. So if you're looking for a more hearty selection of food and libations, we suggest heading there for a sit-down meal. We wish there were a few more fun food options at the Hopping Pot, such as a Jack of Potato, British chips, aka french fries, or even a treacle tart. And unless you're at the park on a very quiet day, or you've taken a drought of liquid luck, don't count on finding a seat for you and your family. This has to be our biggest issue with the Hopping Pot. There aren't very many seats, and because the area is heavily trafficked for wand experiences and the nearby stage, the location can feel chaotic. We suggest if the seating around the hopping pot looks busy, you can just get your drinks at the Leaky Cauldron. We rate the Universal Studios hopping pot an eight out of 10 lightning bolts. The theming, team members, and specialty beverages make this one of the best kept secrets at Diagon Alley. Thanks for watching and make sure to comment your favorite memory from this attraction Throw us a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. This is Magic Atlas, bringing the magic to you.